And that's what we try to do everything offensively by playing fast, by getting that before they set up. Uh, you cannot guard us. Admit it, we all have wondered what would happen if an NBA team played in Europe. This season, we finally have an example in Italy. And it's not any casual NBA offense that's being played, it's the famous D'Antoni's 7 seconds or less that's being put to the test here. Spoiler alert, it works extremely well as Varese are surpassing every expectation they had. I will tell you exactly why it's so efficient, but before, please hit that subscribe button because we are giving away a mystery gift once we hit 75k subs. La possibilità del pareggio nelle mani di Ferrero. Va schiacciare ancora lui. So last summer, Argentinian Hall of Famer Luis Scola acquired the majority of shares of Varese Pallacanestro, a historic Serie A team, and his first business order was to appoint a young and promising NBA coach Matt Brazzi. Brazzi had quite an experience in the strongest basketball league. He was in the Rockets organization for 9 years, seeing the ins and outs of the analytics run team with Daryl Morey as the GM and Mike D'Antoni as the head coach. You can break winning down into two things. Uh, one is how many points do you get per possession and then how do you get extra possessions? Maybe that's why seeing Varese trying to do the same things on the court does not come as a surprise. According to this fantastic graph from Francesco Olivo, Varese are the fastest team in Europe and wouldn't be last even in the NBA. They are averaging 80 possessions per 40 minutes, this number is usually around 70 for Euroleague teams, while also shooting almost every second shot from behind the three-point line. They are simply trying to outrun the opponents in every possession. However, that would not be possible if the personnel wasn't right. Brazi and Scola chose fast and athletic players to be the main core guys. Colby Ross, a former Pepperdine University standout, is leading the way, showcasing his speed after every defensive rebound. The point guard's job is to put pressure on defense immediately and look for easy layups. His secondary task is to collapse the defenders inside so wings like former NBA player Markel Brown could attack the closeouts. Brown's athleticism is superior to most players in Europe, so in transition he's pretty much unstoppable. Attacking early opens up huge spaces to exploit and Brown's combination of the quick first step and a lead dribble is a nightmare for any opponent. Also, no fast-paced team would be possible without the running big. But is it chose the high flyer Tariq Owens for the job? And oh boy, is he a good fit for this system. I'm not a rose. So no ones. Playing fast is one thing, but doing it even after opponents made baskets is what allows us to compare Varese with NBA teams. That's still not a mindset we often see in Europe. Many coaches are afraid of turnovers and chaos on the court. Coach Brazi embraces it and has confidence in his players to make the right decisions. Three-point shots in first six or seven seconds are nothing new. While defenses are getting back to their positions, Varese players don't bother to attack in catch-and-shoot situations, especially if passes come from from inside the paint, just like in practice. You just saw that an early four-corner pick-and-roll generated a solid shot from outside. This entry with four players out around the three-point line and the big man Owen setting a screen is the go-to action in Varese's offense. Such spacing leaves the paint completely naked, meaning the center can roll easily, meaning the help has to come from somewhere. Or if it doesn't, Varese scored two easy points because Owens is an extremely dangerous roller. Watch his movement here. He recognizes that his defender is at a level of the screen, doesn't even set one, gets below his defender and the help side is late to react. The opponents here have a tough choice to make. Where are we helping from? In this clip they decide to do it from the one side but Varese's ability to shoot and the confidence to do it early punishes it fastly. Some teams are trying to test it by going under the screens inviting Ross to shoot after the dribble which is not necessarily the first option in Brazi's system but when your point guard is knocking down 41% of his frees you happily live with the result. Usually coach Brazi is the most happiest when his team gets a layup or a catch and shoot free. Reminds you of something, doesn't it? Looking at their shot chart for the whole season, you can imagine Mike D'Antoni smiling somewhere, watching the non-existent mid-range attempts. Anyway, the quality three-point attempts wouldn't come without proper spacing. We will get into the main trigger of how they create an advantage a second later, but keep an eye on such small details as this relocation on drives to the basket. Pesaro switch on this double drag action, it becomes an ISO situation 
situation immediately and we all know how stunting from one pass away has become a major part of almost every European team's defense. Ferrero makes the distance to come back longer and that's how Vareza get a free. Few more examples here. Look at how all five players move accordingly to where the ball goes. Walled it inside, drives right, strong side defenders are looking at the ball while both Vareza guys are rotating right as well, keeping the spacing balanced. Simple pass and a great shot. In the next clip we see Vareza trying a stagger curl and by the defensive playbook this guy is jumping to the ball to take away an immediate shot. Walled it inside, extends the distance one more time and that's enough for Vareza to again beat the defense. Now, for those of you who are enjoying this video so far, we have a premium platform on our site. Basket News Plus offers you a great deal of additional content, including my weekly breakdowns of different European teams, an ability to see Q&A or bonus podcasts, and to be included in a super active WhatsApp group with other members. Check out the discounts we have right now and all the extra content at basketnews.com slash plus. Let's leave the system part for a little bit. Have you noticed the confidence with which the Italian team's players are attacking the basket? In my eyes, no tactics would work well if coach Brazi wouldn't translate calmness and the utmost confidence in his players. He is always calm on the sideline, we don't see the shouting that has become a norm of older generation European coaches. This is his reaction after a bad shot and an air ball. Brazi himself explains such behavior to my colleague Orazio Kauki, saying that he learned it from his grandfather, a legendary Arizona coach, Lute Olson. He says, you don't teach by the tone of the voice. Mike D'Antoni had the same approach. I try to give my players suggestions and small corrections. Like, did you see that situation? Putting pressure doesn't help. Likewise, it doesn't help to give too much information, which risks making players overthink and slow down on the field. And if there's one thing that Vareze doesn't like on the court, it's definitely the speed. Now, for the last part of this video, we have to talk about how Vareze's offense in half court is so successful. Obviously, being fast always helps, but we all know it's never only and, that. You know, all defenses back then, and even now a little bit, they're all the same. They all, you gotta come in, touch the roller, go back out. Well, okay, how can we exploit that? The secret sauce to coach Brazi's offense are entries and sets that allow the big man to roll freely to the rim. As I mentioned before, Owens is incredible at this and when he's able to do exactly that, it unlocks Varese's full potential. The pick and roll doesn't work if the defense is able to have someone at the free throw line bumping the rolling big. This is called the nail help and most of Varese's sets eliminates the possibility to do so. They love the double drag option. The nail help should come from the guy who is defending the first screen but since they switch here, it's practically impossible for him to arrive there, opening up a highway to the rim for Owens. Double drag is perfect, but repeating it every time would allow the opponent to adjust. Good thing that Brazi disguises this action with a different entry. They flow into a double screen from delay entry and the same guy again is late to bump the big man before he can roll down the middle. Two guys in the corners look stunned and how fast the situation evolves. Probably no surprise here, but Vareza also runs some very popular NBA actions. This ram into a corner exit for a shooter is a staple of Warriors and many other NBA franchises, while Vareze run it because it again allows the big to roll freely to the rim. So much action is going around on the court that opponents are worried about their own defenders instead of focusing on team's defense. Tariq Ovens meets the defense only at the rim and finishes the play. Last but not least, stagger entry is a crucial part of their offense. And guess what? It also evolves into a double screen for the ball handler often if the shooter doesn't receive. This defender has a tough choice to make, does not commit and Ovens is there again to collect the free throws. Varese's secrets are out and now you know what happens when an iconic NBA offense is ran on European courts. On top of that, Varese have one of the lowest payrolls in all Serie A, making the work of coach Brazi and Scola even more impressive. A legendary team seems to finally be on a good track to return to its former glory days. Let me know what you think, like the video and I'll see you in the next one.